Hey everyone, it's Fat Vegan. I hope you're all doing well. Just having a bit of a thought that the brain had to produce. <laughs> Anyways, um, the reality is, is it doesn't seem like anyone understands. You know, when I was growing up, we had to show our work on our math homework. Like you had to show uh, 25 times three, right? So you had the three and you had to carry, you know, carry the one over and, all that, you know, and then do, do the two lines and add them together and show your answer. And now I'm a pretty, yeah, I'm all right with math. Okay. I've never had a problem with doing the math homework. Hella. In, in high school, I actually figured out the percentage of homework I would have to do if I aced every single one of my uh, tests. And if I got a B in one, how much more homework I'd have to do percentage wise. So how many days would I have to turn in homework to get a C? So <laughs> I sat there and figured that shit out. So I did the least amount of work I had to. So no, we all can be lazy with our work, we all can be lazy because we don't want to. And the reality is, 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 yeah, that's a normal human reaction and something that men, women, we all need to conquer ourselves in these things. And I'm no innocent guy who's got it all figured out because I'm still, you know, I'm not exactly the, the tidiest person or I'm not exactly the most organized in my, you know, and how I do my, whatever finances or I, I don't know when I got to go get a list of something. Um, sometimes I forget the list, you know, I'm not, I'm not the greatest at it, but the reality is it's really important. It's really important. I know in my life, it's a lot easier when I do those things than when I don't. Sometimes I get away with it if it's a short list or something like that. And that's fine. But you know, and that's normal life. But when, when our entire world our entire world is on these stupid phones and on the electric, you know, and oh, trust the government and, and trust your doctor and all this other garbage. These, the, for one, for one, a doctor or a government or, or whatever, they're, they're meant to help us in our lives in very specific ways, in very specific moments where you say, Hey, wait, what do you think about this? And then you go, Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. And then you make a decision. You don't just follow their order. And it seems like people have forgotten that. And that's also why I went, I go back to my doing the math and showing your work. It seems like people have forgotten that in reality, the reason we show our work and we don't use a calculator is so we know how to do it. It's not that you don't use the phone to call someone to talk to them instead of um, driving over to their house and having a conversation. Okay, use the technology while it's here. But to think that it's always here or to think that there's never an opportunity where it's better to do something physically than to use a, a technology such as farming. Farming's another great example. Oh, we got the greatest technology in the world. <laughs> but look at, our, look at our farmlands. Look at the aeration that's happening throughout our country. We are losing arable land. Faster than, than, than anything that I know of in recorded history. I'm sure there's somebody that can point out, oh, right here. <laughs> Great. Congratulations. They're very rare for how fast we are losing actual farmland. The fact is, is we can also reclaim it. And Israel is a great example of that because of what they did in their swamplands and in their deserts. And they've got beautiful farms and everything. I mean, it took, you know, it took 20 years, but... They brought back so much land and they didn't do it with chemicals, y'all. Uh, Monsanto does not have the answer. Technology does not always have the answer in, in the form of a, of a computer and I push a button. Sometimes technology says, hey, if you physically get out there and do it X, Y, Z, or just, you know, human experience kind of educates us. If you do these things, farmland, you, you take the proper organic material and put it in the soil with the microbes and the fungi, you grow not only delicious food, but healthy food. The food in the stores that are grown by Monsanto and all these other things, they're, they're worthless. They you're well, no fiber is always good for you, but they have chemicals in them. They, uh, you know, don't have the nutritional value. It, it, it's just 
oh, it's mind blowing. I, I don't understand. When are people going to wake up and realize that there are entities currently in charge and they don't care about you? They don't care about your family. They don't care about your community. So you need to build a community. You need to take care of your family and take care of yourself and trust in your own decisions. Think about all the whole, the whole thing. Think about all the aspects you got. There's so much to consider. And honestly, for me, that's very daunting, but at least I know the proper steps. I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed y'all, but if you know the proper steps, you're going to come closer to the proper outcome more often. So anyways, peace out y'all. I hope everyone's happy, healthy, and well.